Our other bonus lecture in this course is how to fry your own prawn crackers. You know, those prawn crackers you get, um, sometimes some takeouts do them on a complimentary basis. Over here, sometimes you have to pay a pound for that much, that many prawn crackers. Um, you can also find them in supermarkets here in the UK, ready fried and ready to eat as it were. However, we always make our own prawn crackers. And essentially, to do this course, you have to take a trip to your oriental supermarket or grocer or go online right so when you do that you're also going to find unfried prawn crackers these are the chinese variety little discs of solid crackers i guess now these are made of let me see the ingredients there. Cornstarch, water, prawns, some sugar and some salt. That's it. Needless to say, some, some are bound to contain MSG, but these ones don't. Um, you, and you can tell we love our prawn crackers. It's a big box and there are loads and loads and loads here. Prawn crackers are very, very easy to cook yourself, to make yourself. All you need is a pot a wok or a deep frying pan casserole dish fill it up with oil heat it up on medium high heat and then fry your prawn crackers now these are the plain ones from the for the that you get from the chinese supermarket sometimes they come colored as well okay. you've also got these ones the sort that you will get at thai restaurants and these ones have shrimp, garlic, sugar, salt, pepper. That's it. So you fry them in the exact same way. Besides our Thai prawn crackers, I've also got these. It's in Malay. Okay. Ah, here we are. Fish, tapioca, tapioca starch, I think they mean, corn flour, salt, sugar, and water to make this is slightly long to make these fish crackers. And these I cannot find in the UK. So when I, whenever I have someone coming to visit from Singapore or Malaysia, they always get me a few packs. When you visit the Southeast Asian countries, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, and even East Asian countries like China, you will find stalls selling a wide range of these sort of dried goods to be fried at home. They include crisps, you can call them too. They include crackers made of vegetables, um, all sorts of vegetables like this one here. This is from, this is Indonesian again, brought over by my sister-in-law. I grew up eating these and once again flattened pieces, dry discs of a mixture of vegetable, cornstarch and seasoning. And I don't know what vegetable goes into making these. It doesn't say. So there you go. These are the various crackers we've got. Oh, one last thing. Also, papadum. You know papadums, don't you? Indian starter, starters usually, they come as starters. So that's a papadum. And then just drop it in and once again, it'll puff up and come up to the top and it's ready. You can also cook papadums in, my, in the microwave oven. I think 10 seconds, depending on the strength of your microwave. Sort of sprinkle a bit of water, zap them for 10 seconds and they'll be ready, but it's not the same. No matter what anybody tells me, it's not the same as when you actually fry them. So there you go. So to fry our prawn crackers, we need one of these skimmers, one of these Chinese skimmers. We also need 
a plate lined with kitchen paper. Although, if truth be told, whenever I make prawn crackers at home, I make so many that I actually have a massive big bowl lined with kitchen paper and then all the prawn crackers get done. Two of them actually because whenever I make prawn crackers, always the Chinese ones and the spicy ones because of different tastes in the family. So that's it. Let's go take a closer look at the prawn crackers and then we'll get frying. And this is what your uncooked prawn crackers look like pretty translucent. Those are your Chinese prawn crackers. That's, those are the Thai ones, papadums. These are the vegetable ones from Indonesia and these are the fish crackers from Malaysia. There you go. And when you've fried your prawn crackers, it's not really something I need to show you, I don't think, but there you go. These are your fried prawn crackers. Ready for it? There we go. You can see the air above the oil is starting to shimmer. Drop a small piece. If it comes straight back up, the oil is hot enough. So drop a few in. And then be ready to catch them quickly. Shake out the excess oil and place them on the kitchen paper. See, that one's browned too much because the oil is super hot and we had too many to catch. So the bigger the skimmer, the easier this job is going to be. There we are, those were perfect. This is perfect. So we keep going and this is how you fry prawn crackers at home. And you apply the same method to all forms of Asian crackers and Indian papadums. And here are our prawn crackers all fried up. Listen, right? Crispy, crispy, freshly fried and so, so yummy. There you go. And how long did it take me to make this? Okay, the oil took about maybe two minutes, three minutes to heat up. And then it was a matter of maybe I put a handful in each time to fry. So perhaps about one minute, two minutes at the most. There you go. Homemade prawn crackers. Because nothing beats homemade. <laughs>